Welcome back to Customer Tech Talks. I'm your host, Ben Walters, and we have a very special segment for you this time. But before we jump into the interview, let's take a look at the video. With a cluster reply, we had the chance to get our hands on one of the first Boston Dynamics autonomous robots in Europe. We were very thrilled about the possibility these new devices are opening up for us, especially in combination with our Azure technology. We are able to build up a complete new category of use cases throughout various kinds of industries and applications. With our partners, we are always seeking for innovations and then driving the transformation at our customers. In this segment, we'll be looking at a solution that combines Azure Connect, autonomous systems, and AI on the edge. Now, with a project this close to the bleeding edge, it takes a combination of industries to make it a reality. For this solution, Microsoft, partner Cluster Reply, and Boston Dynamics, who supplied the robotics platform, came together to make this happen. Then Thomas Lassman from Urban Mobility International will join us to talk about the real-world use of this solution. So let's kick off with Marcus Lucen from Microsoft. Hey, Marcus, thanks for joining us. Hi, Ben. Nice to be here. So can you tell us about how a project like this got started and how Microsoft's helping to drive this innovation? Yeah, sure. Microsoft is looking for innovation and digitalization at our customers. One example is machine learning. In the automotive industry, we see fundamental changes to electrified cars, customer-centric sales, and the development of autonomous driving. Some of the German car manufacturers are executing their business from building cars to mobility provider on the market. In the new business model, there is a need to handle the vehicle over the lifetime. In the discussion we had with the German automotive companies, we got often the request for an automated, uh, automated vehicle inspection. Damages to the chassis or to the rims are most common issues in the business. From a technical point, there is, an, um, there is a wish to have a de decision between is there dust or scratch on the rim. Doing this automatically without a break in the process make it for the customer more attractive because it's more convenient for him. For the fleet manager, it's much easier to identify what are the typical damages at the vehicle. Additionally, with a high degree of automation, the detection process is cheaper and the detection quality is higher than the traditional manual approach, which we all know from classic rental car return. Now, with a solution uh, like this, it was built in partnership with Cluster Reply, and we have Marek joining us from their studio in Munich. Marek, can you share how you approach this and how you surround and support the devices, devices as they're in use? Sure, Ben. Well, Replay is also a worldwide partner of Boston Dynamics, and uh, we've done and delivered multiple solutions for static IoT monitoring systems. And uh, putting this on a moving IoT edge device like Spot Robot <laughs> enables the inspection use cases in the places where the internet connection is not possible. And this is exactly the case which makes sense in the underground parking lots uh, where it can be tricky when it comes to internet connection. The approach you have seen in the video was built in the IoT edge capabilities specifically for the spot from Boston Dynamics. And the project evolved at Reply into a bigger, more universal scope where we do use the Azure Cloud. We communicate through IoT Hub to be more precise through the device twin protocol with robotic operating system nodes, which makes the solution vendor independent. We are owners of a solution where you can bring any model into any robot. Now, I can see you have a spot there with you in studio. Do you think you could take some time to show us in action? Sure, of course. Uh, let us uh, start the spot. And uh, I have here a power up with me when I can simply start an inspection doing with the Azure Connect on the top. So I will just simply click here, search and, in, and inspect. And a spot should stay up and have a look and looking for something. What is going to look for? Not a car, but a driving license. What I have here, the driving license I'm putting over here and we'll see if the spot will find it. So he's looking, he's looking, he's, uh, I hope it's in, still on the frame, <laughs> he's back on the frame. Okay, I think he already found it. So you can look right now my Surface Hub here. What we, he, uh, what we see here is an IoT Hub where you see um, connection devices being um, connected, uh, separate for the telemetry, for the spot itself, and separate for the camera, the Azure Connect. Um, you see also a number of messages being used, uh, the, the messages going uh, back and forth. And uh, yeah, let us see what a spot is seeing actually right now. So I'll click here 
going to do a live preview. And uh, yeah, this is what a spot is seeing. So uh, he's uh, having you now he actually two bonding boxes, one for the license plate. Right now, exactly, he's only license plate here and the value from the license plate. You see on the bottom here in the logs files, um, that is the what object is being detected and what is the value. It's exactly this, um, what is um, uh, being expected. So yeah, it works. It can work on any uh, mission timeline. We can uh, add any uh, point of interest and deploy any AI model um, into your inspection routines. So yeah, it works. Really great to see. And a solution like this is something straight out of a movie. However, we have Thomas Lastman from Urban Mobility who's been in talks to deploy this solution in for their car share business. Can you share how, this, how you see this benefiting your business? Yes, hello. Uh, we are Urban Mobility International, a 100% Volkswagen daughter. Our business is sustainable car sharing for everyone. There's roughly 200,000 customers in Germany. All our cars are electric and charged with green energy only. One important key success factor for us is managing our fleet as efficient as possible due to a lot of competition in our market. Of course, this means reducing cost, but also being fast on the market with new ideas. To achieve this, our development team is focused on implementing our business logic only. All the rest of our IT stack and functionality is based on Microsoft Azure and their past services. So our development team can focus on our core value creation only. Additionally, Microsoft has done a big commitment on sustainability with Azure and their data centers as well, which aligns with our philosophy. This also means we are permanently looking for more efficient and sustainable processes to manage our fleets. So far, we have done an AI project together with Microsoft where we predict the demand of our car usage. For example, after charging or repairing our car, we know where to place it with the highest customer demand. Our new planned project with, together with Microsoft is based in huge car parks with hundreds of cars, for example, on airports. You all know how difficult it is to find a car on the airport which you didn't park yourself. Check for damages, clean and charge the car under time pressure. For us humans, this is very difficult. Here we plan to use the Robodoc to check and refit those cars. The Robodoc can do this faster and more precise than humans. The customer will have quicker feedback of his rental and eventually done damages. So the car will be available faster for the next customer on our WeShare. And overall, with those projects, it's fun to experience the future together with Microsoft. So great to see the level of innovation here and even more fun to see these robots in person. Thomas, Marek, Marcus, thank you so much for taking the time with us today. It's been great to see this level of innovation. And if you want to learn more about any of the technology you've seen here, you can head to the Learn at Build site for all of the training resources. If you want more details on this specific solution, you can visit Cluster Reply site. Thank you again for joining us and we'll see you on the next Customer Tech Talks.